day breaks over the Shizaf Nature Reserve in the Arava Valley. Members of the Babbler group stretch a wing and open an eye to the new morning. The group has spent the night in a cuddle and will keep in close contact and touch throughout the day. Morning wash, alloprening, playing and foraging together. This is a typical day of the babblers, the only cooperatively nesting bird in Israel. Some places in the world are landmarks in the understanding of animal behavior. Such is the Shizaf Nature Reserve, where Professor Amot Zahavi has developed various aspects of the handicap principle. For over 40 years, Amot and Avishag Zahavi have been studying the tame population of babblers in the Shizaf Reserve. Knowing each individual personally, they investigate different aspects of babblers' life, group structure and interaction between individual. Researchers from many countries have participated in the study, which brought about a scientific revolution in the study of animal and human behavior. Babblers can be found throughout the Arava Valley, with a large population at the Shizaf Nature Reserve between Hatseva and Ein Yahav. The Shizaf Reserve is located between the Dana Reserve in the mountains of Edom in Jordan, and the Negev Reserves leading into the Sinai, forming a land bridge of nature reserves between Asia and Africa. This unique location produces a fascinating assemblage of plants and animals of differing origins. The acacia trees and the Namaqua dove originating from Africa meet the white saxaxal bushes and the Indian silverbill from Asia, alongside migratory birds from Europe. Red sandstone hills of the Hatsiva rock formation, sandy areas, gravel-covered hamadas, marl badlands and a small spring, the Gidron spring that attracts thirsty animals are all parts of this small nature reserve. It is the only reserve in Israel that protects a sandy acacia savanna. This special desert reserve is a home for several rare species, like the tiny fern, the least adder's tongue, which grows in sandy areas in the Shizaf Reserve, the black bush robin, an African bird and a rare visitor to the Arava, and the rare Arabian warbler which nests here. The reserve is located in an extreme desert with an annual average of only 30 millimeters of rain. Despite the heat and aridity, life in the reserve is vibrant and dynamic, changing from season to season. Summer in the Arava is long and hot. The temperature often climbs to 45 degrees centigrade. Reptiles enjoy the heat, but even the babblers, accustomed to the extreme desert conditions, suffer in the middle of the day. At such times, the puddles of the Gidron Spring are a real treat. Some animals wait for the darkness before venturing forth. During the relatively cooler nights, the reserve is bustling with life. The babblers are diurnal and spend the night crowded together on an acacia branch, wing touching wing. Autumn clouds come, but do not bring rain. Thousands of migrant birds pass on their way from Europe and Asia to the warmth of Africa. They may alight for a rest and the occasional meal, gathering strength for their journey south.
All animals in the reserve are getting ready for winter. Snakes are active, busily hunting before their winter hibernation. Wolves grow a thicker fur, a protection against the cooling nights. Winter in the desert is cold. The few rain events water the thirsty ground and form flash floods. On extra cold spells, the babblers can see the mountains of Edom under a cover of snow. The desert plants utilize fully the water and sprouting starts immediately after the floods. At the end of the short winter, the desert is awakened in a multicolored spring. And the Shazaf Reserve gets covered by vegetation and breathtaking blooms. Animals hurry to exploit the temporary wealth, eating, storing food and raising a new generation. Reptiles, awake after their winter hibernation, warm themselves in the sunshine. At birds' nests, parents are ceaselessly feeding and taking care of nestlings. There is no time to lose. The offspring must leave the nest healthy and strong. Summer is around the corner. The babblers, too, raise a brood in their nest among the acacia branches. Raptors are passing through again, on their way back north, to their nesting sites in Europe and Asia. The babblers, busy feeding their nestlings, have to be especially alert not to fall prey to a hungry raptor. The importance of the babblers goes far beyond their scientific interest. They are not just a subject for research, but also a gateway for environmental education, awareness and love of nature. והם והילדים שלהם באו, וכשישבו הילדים והזנבנים היו מסביבם, והילדים האכילו את הזנבנים, אני חושב שזה היה אחד הדברים שעזרו לשכנע שחשוב שתהיה פה שמורה. Groups from all over the country come to observe the wonderful way of life of the babblers, led by the guides of the Hatsiva Field School of the Society for the Protection of Nature. Visitors to the Shazaf Nature Reserve experience nature in an intimate way possible only here. <laughs> for the sake of the animals and plants who make it their home, and for the sake of our own future generations, we must preserve open spaces at the Arava, withstand the pressures for development, and protect the Shazaf Reserve, the Kingdom of the Babblers.